retailers. The Carphone Warehouse, which has more than 2,300 mobile phone stores across Europe, and Dixon's Retail, better known as Curry's and PC, um, PC World, are merging. We can now speak to the boss of Dixon's, uh, Sebastian James. Dixon's Carphone Dixon's, Dixon's Carphone, your new job title. Um, what is it? W what's the new company known as, Sebastian? A uh, new company will be called Dixon's Carphone. It's, uh, you, know, you could have perhaps guessed it, but, um, <laughs> but we think it pretty much uh, does what it says on the tin. Why are you doing it, Sebastian? What's the reason behind it? I think this is one of those really rare things where um, the world is moving in such a direction that it made sense for us to come together. So when you look at uh, how connected devices are exploding, uh, uh, only last year, in fact, the number of connected devices on the planet uh, overtook the number of people on the planet for the first time ever. And in the next two or three years, we're going to see 75 billion new connected devices uh, being uh, linked up in our homes, covering things like audio, home security, lighting, uh, and all of those will be controlled by the mobile phone. And I think our ability to tell the whole story to the customer from the phone device, the connectivity, and all of the things that you can attach to it uh, is a unique place in the world. And I, and I think that's our job. Are you seriously suggesting to me, Sebastian, that my fridge will be able to take remote orders through my mobile phone and I won't even have to be involved? It, it will be able to do that, but uh, I'm not sure that's going to be the first killer app that's going to that's <laughs> take off. Um, but we do know, for instance, that half a million people now have Sonos systems and use their phone to decide what music they're going to play in which room. Uh, and, uh, and that is becoming completely normal to us in a way that would have been inconceivable just two years ago. So um, it really is happening. Um, I've been in this game a while, Sebastian, and whenever I've seen these mergers, I've always seen job losses. Um, well, how, how many jobs are you cutting? For example, Starter for 10, the 150 Phones for You franchises that you already have in Dixon's Retail, in Curry's and PC World. I presume those jobs are going to have to go to start with. Well, um, we, have a, no, we have clearly have a contract with Phones for You that goes on till May, and we'll, we'll, we will continue to honour that contract. Uh, but what's clear is that we're going to be building more than 400 uh, new uh, connected stores in all of our shops, and that gives opportunities, I think, for a lot of people. Overall, our plans see job growth and not job reductions. Uh, and I, I think it makes it much easier uh, to find opportunities for people when you're growing and you're growing jobs. Um, your partner, Carphone Warehouse, messed up their last joint venture with Best Buy here mm. in Europe. Mm. Well, um, partly because of your company, you made it harder for them to compete with them. What yeah, makes we got it, better. Yeah, I mean, well, what, yeah. Makes it, what, what makes you think that uh, Carphone Warehouse are going to be a better, more reliable partner this time round? I think they were a reliable partner last time round, but I think it's incredibly difficult to come into a very crowded market as a small, as a relatively small player, at least locally, and try and take take share. Um, and I think we, you know, when 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 Best Buy arrived, we definitely parked our tanks on their lawns, and it worked, and we saw them off. Um, now we've got two market leaders coming together, and I think we're going to build something very powerful, very strong, uh, and very much for the long-term uh, interests of our customers. OK, good luck with the new job. Thank uh, you Sebastian very much. James. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Dixon's Carphone, the new boss there, seeing into the future of fridges that talk to us via our mobile phones. What a future, eh? Mm, well, Dom, thank you very much indeed. Yes. Uh, coming up Thanks, here Dom. on Breakfast uh, shortly, we'll be speaking to Stephen Sutton's... Uh, ..forming a combined company of uh, nearly four billion pounds. Let's speak to the chief executive of Dixon's. That is uh, Sebastian Jones. Uh, Sebastian, congratulations, but... Uh, Who's the daddy in this one? Well, I don't think there's a daddy. This is a genuine 50-50 merger of equals, just by chance. Uh, you know, at a time when markets are coming together around technology and connectivity, uh, the market leaders want to come together. We, we happen to be within a few pence of each other in terms of market cap. So this is a genuine 50-50 merger of equals. OK, so what do you bring to each other? I mean, from the Dixon's brand, which you can obviously talk about, what does Carphone Warehouse bring to you and what you do? Well, I think our job is all about telling stories to customers. And I think increasingly those stories about are about how do I take all the devices that I have and connect them together in a way that I can operate using my phone. I mean, you know, today most people are, are using the phone to control their audio systems and increasingly it'll be security systems and lighting and heating and that's beginning already. And I think we'll be the only people together who can really tell that story end to end for our customers. I'll tell you a story, Sebastian. Um, it's good news and it's bad news. You like stories, so listen to this one. Um, I'm not a Carphone Warehouse customer, but I was a Dixon's customer. And do you know what, my friend? I gave up on you because you just were quite rubbish, really. Uh, what would happen is, and I'm going back five years, right? This is the bad news. You would go in and you would say, you would talk about televisions. 
you knew more than the staff did. You'd go and you ask about phones or laptops. I would read the technology mags. They would know nothing. It was, it was appalling. I did go back into one of your stores recently, and oddly enough, it was to buy a phone. The guy was superb. He was absolutely brilliant, and it was here in Isleworth uh, recently. What have you done, or have you been able to tackle, or would you admit you had got a problem on the shop floor about people knowing nothing? No question. I mean, one of the things that we've done over the last four or five years, and one of the reasons why uh, not just us but also Carphone are flourishing today, is that we've done a completely root and branch uh, review of how to make it work. Now, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, we, we last month we hit our record highest customer satisfaction numbers in our, in our stores. And in fact, uh, we used to bonus people on how many extended warranties they sold four or five years ago, and now we bonus people on their customer satisfaction scores. And I think that makes a massive difference to the culture of a business and what, what people think is important. Uh, we believe that getting customers to like us and, and telling them stories which are honest and true and really make their lives better is how we're gonna get people to come and shop with us. And so far, it's been working quite well. So, uh, you know, we still, obviously, yeah, we still make mistakes from time to time but but many 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 fewer than we did a few years ago I like where you're coming from on that so you actually uh, incentivize people as, as regards to what they know investing in their jobs that's right. satisfied. yeah that sounds very very good there um, but I'll tell you what may be very very bad uh, rarely do you get two big uh, amalgamations like this or mergers as you call it without somebody paying the price uh, what's gonna happen you're gonna have an awful lot of stores in in the UK uh, job losses are we talking job losses here no, I mean, one of the very rare things about this deal is that we don't do the same thing today. Uh, we, actually have, we actually have different activities that we do. And that means that uh, overall our plan has us increasing the number of jobs that we have in the UK, uh, not decreasing. Yeah, um, I still don't visualize this yet. It'll take a while for it all to sink in for us. We all know what Carphone Warehouse is. We all know what Dixon's is and what Dixon's does and whatever. But the combined name, the new name, uh, you must have thought a long time about this one, is the Dixon's Carphone <laughs> Group. Catchy. Uh, what will, well, are you going to change that or you gonna, when you go into Europe or what, what, what's going to happen there? Well, we, 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 of course, we have our corporate name and then we have a, a load of brands which we have right across Europe, which vary from, uh, you know, from Know How to Curry's PC World to El Shop to El Giganten. Uh, and so across Europe, we have a whole range of brands. Um, I think that when you look in the UK, all of our brands, Curry's PC World and uh, Carphone Warehouse, have incredibly strong resonance for customers. Uh, and in fact, anybody choosing a, a phone or a computer or a fridge uh, naturally gravitates towards one of those brands. So we have to be careful about you know, uh, consigning that to the dustbin of history. Uh, and so for now, we will keep those consumer brands. I think the corporate name is basically reflects the fact that we're coming together. Uh, and, uh, and we hope that it, over time it will come to mean the best of uh, two businesses coming together to create a new modern digital retailer for a digital age. Uh, you talked about history there, Stephen, or Sebastian, sorry, and we talked about um, uh, uh, coming together, the future and all that sort of thing. Give us an insight, give us a glimpse to the future. You, you mentioned ovens, you mentioned fridges, you mentioned phones. What have we as consumers got to look forward to? What's going to excite us to, to go in and shop at, at your new amalgamated store? Well, I think that a few things are going to happen in the next few years. I think all of our home heating and home, home environment is going to be controlled from your mobile phone. I think you'll have security systems that alert you when somebody's trying to break into your house. You'll be able to see them on your mobile phone. Uh, I think you can set your lighting uh, and your, uh, all around your home with your mobile. All of your audio and content will be stored in the cloud and we can make that work seamlessly for you all around your house. Because of course, these technologies exist today. The problem is no one really knows how to make them work and, and we yes. can make that happen. So the, I think the future is about all this stuff we've heard about actually happening. And that's our job to make it, to make it happen. And we're excited about that. Well, I'll tell you, I would be super excited if you could make Mrs. Holmes understand any of that or do any of that. I will, you will be an absolute hero. Uh, but, but good we'll, we'll give it a go, Eamon. <laughs> we'll, we'll, you let me know when, when she's free. <laughs> That could be arranged, Sebastian. Uh, thank you very much indeed. That is Sebastian James. He's the chief executive coming together with Carphone Warehouse. It's a, it's a group that's going to be valued about four billion pounds. So there we go. It affects, thanks, Sebastian. It affects all our lives now. That yeah. does, really. Uh, we've got uh, Sarah and we have got Johnny here. They have got the newspapers. And uh, Sarah, you want to begin with a mm. story about a, the jobs boom? Yeah, well, of course, there's been... Um